Hello again my fellow Jetty users and welcome back to my workshop for another of Harry's Jetty Clinic videos. In this one we're going to solve uh, the request of a particular user. I did a video the other day about uh, how to set up for a four aileron biplane because there were a couple of different methods and part of which method you would choose depended on whether you wanted to do crow braking with the ailerons on your biplane. And following this, I've had a request from a user to solve the particular way that he wanted to do it. And I think uh, it's quite an interesting one. And it's worth having a look at how we go about solving the way that he wants to do it. So what he wanted was there would be a, a master switch to switch this facility on and off. But the crow brake would then be controlled by the throttle. So that with the throttle right back, the uh, ailerons are fully opened as crow brakes um, and with the throttle at middle the crow braking would be shut uh, but it's not completely linear between uh, throttle back and mid throttle he wanted a sort of dead band up to about throttle at minus 75 percent the crow brakes would remain fully open and then from the minus 75 percent to zero percent the crow brakes would close and of course if you switch them off the crow brakes to close, the throttle has no effect. So rather than just take you through, uh, do this, do that, do the other, I'm going to build it up a little bit step by step so that you can see how we go about solving various issues. It might help you with your own programming. So, uh, of course, uh, we have a look in here, basic properties. It's the uh, four aileron biplane. I have... Uh, set up the servo assignment like this, just so you can see it nice and easily. This is the way this particular user did it. Aileron 1 on the lower, aileron 2 upper wing, aileron 3 lower, aileron 4 upper wing. So we've also followed the jetty left to right rule. And uh, we've got two uh, control elements coming in here obviously the the master switch on and off and the th throttle stick well it's not throttle it's p4 remember throttle is a function not a stick uh, what we're moving here is the p4 stick it just happens to be throttle uh, so uh, the obvious thing there is to create a logic switch there it is uh, i'm happening to use a two position switch sc as the on off switch Yep, and the control P4 is selected. You can see it's center proportional and reversed. Very important, it's proportional. Why have I reversed it? Because of the way we want the throttle to work, the crow braking. Um, the butterfly menu, crow menu if you like, uh, assumes that at 100%, plus 100% is crow brakes open, 0% is crow brakes closed. Uh, I'm not going to implement the 0% here, but what we do want is with the P4 stick fully back, that's throttle fully back in this case, therefore we get 100%, and with throttle fully open, minus 100%. So that's why I have used the rev button, because the standard would be plus 100% throttle fully open, which is not what we want in the crow braking menu so i've reversed that there um you say to yourself aha but we can do it in the crow braking menu yes but the snag comes with the value of the logic switch because uh with the logic switch off it goes to minus 100 percent which would be stick fully forward uh, if i switch it on we get variable switch it off it goes to minus 100 percent and therefore, we need that to be at the stick forward position. So that's why that's done that way. OK, and of course, lin, because that's what gives us linear output condition. And so there we go. Nothing happens. If I switch it on, we get the nice variable effect with the plus 100 with the stick fully back. Say OK. OK to that. Uh, let's go to then our butterfly. I've already set it up so that the ailerons um go minus 50 plus 50 minus 50 plus 50 and the control is logic switch one proportional and the way that butterfly works is that uh, even though the 
logic switch or the stick is going from plus 100 to minus 100 it just goes from plus 100 to zero okay so what would be minus 100 on the logic switch with the stick fully forward uh, butterfly interprets as zero fine that's what we want okay to that now let's have a look at what that does okay um if i switch it off so the logic switch is switched off as you can see the throttle's moving has no effect on those ailerons if i move the aileron stick that's working nicely okay throttle fully forward activate the crow braking on the ailerons throttle back there we go it's opening the crow brakes you can see the ailerons are moving in opposite directions aileron stick still works uh, incidentally this user mentioned that he the linkage is allowed um, for the servos to travel up to the 125 percent the default limit that jetty puts in so we can just leave it there and it'll stop it over driving things and you've still got the other in movement okay the first and obvious issue is that we have got a completely proportional movement over the entire p4 stick uh, instead of just being in the bottom half and with a dead band at the bottom of that as well so for instance we move the stick i'm moving the throttle just off full throttle and that's already opening the brakes so as you can see uh, he didn't want the brakes to be open at all but uh, above mid throttle so we need to work out how to deal with that and then uh, he wanted a dead band in that bit of throttle movement up to the minus 75 percent well the dead band's easy enough to do because jetty has given us a dead band called offset so if we go in there and set the offset to 50 percent which is half its travel now let's have a look at the effect of this Okay, see, the throttle's fully forward. I can now bring the throttle all the way back to the middle, and only then does the crow start working. Lovely. So that's most of our problem solved right there. All we've got to do is solve that bit where the user wanted it to remain fully open from minus 100 to minus 75, because as you can see, they're moving there. How do we do that? Well, this is where we get a little bit creative. There is no way of having something like a function curve, multipoint curve within the logic switch or within the butterfly menu uh, at this point, sadly. Uh, but what we can do is give ourselves an input that has a multipoint curve. So what we do is go back to model, functions, assignment, create ourselves a function called crow and assign the P4 stick to it, as you can see here. OK, now that means we can go to the crow's function curve and do this. Uh, change it to a three point and we've taken the center point from the center all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. And then using these arrows, we've moved it sideways. OK, so three-point curve defaults to looking like that so all we did was move that down to zero and whiz it along to minus 75 and that means that the crow function if we watch where the, the little target is as I move the throttle open it comes all the way along stuck at the bottom until here off it goes. OK, that's fine. How are we going to make use of that? We go back to our logic switch. And instead of using P4 as the input, we're going to use the crow function. So we go in there, clear it out, plus there, come down to functions, crow. Now notice, uh, because we've already used um, what was it, P4, and we've got center prop and rev switched on. It's kept those, but if you're going straight here, make sure you've got those. Yeah, so that with the P4 stick fully back where you want maximum crow, you've got plus 100, and with the P4 stick forward, what would be full throttle, you've got minus 100. Say okay to that, and say okay to that. 
And now let's look at the effect. Okay, I'll switch the crow off. Ailerons work. Throttle movement does nothing to the crow braking. I'll leave the uh, stick fully forward. Switch it on. And now as I bring the stick back, the butterfly menu should do nothing until we get to beyond the bottom, because remember we used the offset. There we go. Now we're into the, the, the bottom bit of the travel, so it's opening the crow brakes. And as you can see, with the throttle at minus 75, it has now reached the full percentage of crow brakes we put in. I'll move the throttle between minus 100 and minus 75, and notice the crow brakes don't move. So there we are. We've achieved exactly what our fellow Jetty user wanted. Have fun with that, folks.